Hi. Happy Saturday. Happy 3 a.m. EU viewers. <laughs> hey. Hi. Fellas, if you are still planning to do covers, will the first one be Battle of Fortnite Girls? Hell no. No, chat. If I ever do covers, it's going to be tasteful and carefully curated choices. Fellas, I'm 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 fucking exhausted. CPR, f hell no, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm I'm real sleepy. I'm real sleepy, chat. Um, cause I I didn't I don't think I really had any caffeine today except like I left my house and I went and I got a a boba tea, it, which I think is like. I, I think it's caffeine in it. Yeah, it is caffeine in it. Um, yum, 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 yum. So I'm having a little bit of gamer subs. No, a little leafy. Did I finish r the rig without us? No. No, we got one more rigging stream left in us, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll probably just do it Thursday. In the usual time after that one though i think we're done i think we're done and then we're just gonna do like a soft debut uh and that's and that's that uh, and that's that baby and that's that then we got a new fresh coat of paint baby maybe i'll even do like w i'll get like someone to edit a little debut like trailer or whatever, e even though like all of my main watchers have already seen everything, maybe it'll get like some people on Twitter to be like, oh, oh, there's there's a new model, there's a new model, I haven't seen it, I I will I want to see it, so maybe, so we may potentially get a new model before WeebCon, yeah, hundred percent, yeah 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 yeah, hundred percent. I mean it's like basically done, you know. Fuck. All right. So let's get into this pretty quickly. I really want to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I really want to finish this case today. Get some random Fiverr editor that has never heard of VTubers before. I was just ZP. Will Baby Moth be ready by debut? Baby Moth is done. I, I finished Baby Moth a couple of days ago. I no 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 I'm not losing against sleepiness. I'm like we're 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 like our engine is starting. Our engine is starting, okay. Yo, welcome, Locke. Welcome. Oh yeah, my mods have seen it. It's so good. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. You guys are gonna lose it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I am gonna set up like a redeem toggle, um, so I so I can swap it and shit, uh, it, with like a hotkey. So 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 there you go. Are you happy? Are you happy? Y you will be. You will be. Anyways, am I happy? Yes, okay, yeah, maybe I'm a little happy. It's like, it's like good. It's like a good one. I made a good one. <laughs> um, having said that though, uh, Thursday is gonna be our last rigging stream. And then, and, and, and then we go, and then we go back. Uh, right, so we need to finish this case today so that ideally I can have next Saturday off. So I think I'm gonna hop, uh, I think I'm gonna get, get into it. I think I'm gonna get right into it. Let's go, baby. I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm trying to stay busy, man. It feels good to sink my teeth into a new project again. You know? You know, you know, you know. It's like a, it's like a, an addiction. 
I like to stay busy because if I'm not busy, I start to go insane. I need it. I need it. Will I be live tomorrow? Probably. Probably. Uh, oh shit. Wait, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'll probably be live tomorrow, but chat, I'm going out with Bartender Chan on Monday. Um, so I, I, I won't be doing anything crazy uh, tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna like, I'm not gonna do like, w like whom, whom my crazy drinking streams. I'm not gonna do any of that because I'm going out with Bartender Chan on Monday. Um, and she's, we're going to like a wine event. So um, I need to be responsible. <laughs> I'm touching grass, bro. Guys, I'm gonna dress up and like, like it's an event and I need people to think that I like, think that I'm slaying. Like I need to, <laughs> I need to slay. <laughs> I need, okay, okay, okay. I'm just, I I'm getting it together. Did you tell- yeah, she knows I'm a Twitch streamer, but she doesn't really watch you, uh, VTubers. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, chat. I'm becoming a socialite. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, um... Anyways, Apollo. We're gonna get into this, uh, as soon as I finish this case, I'm probably just gonna end stream, no matter if it's, like, two hours or whatever. Um, and then, and then, and then I'm out of here, cause I wanna go hang out with the homies on the Saturday evening. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, god. God, that was the worst giggle I've ever done. What the fuck? That wasn't even like a meme. That wasn't even a bit. I just, like that came from the heart. I really went, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Kim Pog. Yeah, sure, I'll add Kim Pog. That fucking came out of my heart. That was genuine. I hate that. Fuck, man. I'm not gonna recap. We go in, we go in hot. We go in hard. Simply watch my VODs. Huh, kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? <laughs> somebody, guys, somebody last stream gave me shit for Apollo's voice. They were like, this sounds like someone role-playing Hero Akka. They don't understand that that was the bit. They don't understand that that was the joke. It went over their head. Like I gave, like I gave him cringe shonen protag voice on purpose, but <laughs> this place is a connection to the murder in the park. The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived, Apollo is cringy. That's what I'm saying. He's so cringe, <laughs> but like, but like in an endearing way, you know. It is endearing. Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues laying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Let's get freaking cracking. Uh. English voice of Phoenix is gonna be a weebcon? Cool. The clinic re reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. Hmm. Brutal, but effective. Look, there's like a piranha. <laughs> Cute. These must be the slippers for the patients of the clinic. Same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. And ours of paint on the bottoms, which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right, the paint's from the hit and run, after all. 
What a pair were a pair of clinic slippers doing in that trash can? What were they doing at the scene of the hit and run? Hmm. Surely there is something that connects all of these events. A through line. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that came to see Dr. Maractus. Yo, thanks, Yorick and generic cues are in Famiras and Billy Denton. Thank you guys. And thanks for the bits, Golden Rule. You think they use this house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case? It thinks Blastic Cabin and Fuji in the background. And if this patient or visitor isn't st still here, fuck. Why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take it close at least, just, just in case. Well, they probably, uh... Th th she fucking obviously took her seat. That valley girl bitch. Took her shoes off and put the slippers on, right? Come on. Come on, come on. That, that harpy. Okay, hold on, I need to adjust, there we go. Look at all these bowls. They're from Eldoon's noodles. There's Mr. Salty. Then I think we figured out something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found a first clue, Trucy. What? Huh? I do not comprehend. Wait, is that all that- oh shit, there we go. Look, this door says doctor's office. I think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Oh, Trucy. Like those little bike locks? Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. <laughs> Trucy, what the fuck? Chill! That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Guys! Apollo, that sound! It came from behind this door! Someone's in there. Let's check it out, Trucy. Oh, f Oh. What?! <laughs> What's going on?! A break-in! They left through that window! Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch them now! That must be her experience as a panty snatcher chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. What are the odds? What are the odds? If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. What are the odds, man? Whoa, what are those? The wall's covered with beakers. Something's moving inside that one! You look, Apollo! Hey, look at yourself! You can't- Oh. It's a goldfish. Oh! And no filtration system! Shaking my head. No filtration, no heater. Wow, they're all fish. So many kinds. Oliver designed this had a sick sense of humor. <clears throat> Books and papers are scattered around the room. Wow, what a mess. This is worse than Daddy's room. The burglar must have left in a hurry. Even the cup on the desk here is laying on its side. Huh? The juice that spilled out of that cup. It's dry. So the messy one wasn't a burglar just now. How many people are breaking into this office? Someone knocked this cup over a while ago and left it. What a cute little safe. Hmm, looks like a four digit lock. Huh? Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Seven, nine? Uh, hold on, I'm... 
Okay. Wait, do you think... That burglar just now was trying to open it? I wonder what's inside the safe. Hmm, is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record. Hey, guys! All right, all right, all right, all right. Hear me out. If you flip your head all the way upside down, it looks like an A and an L. Maybe. Something that could help us figure out the last two numbers. Uh, shit. Or maybe it is just numbers, I don't know. <laughs> we don't have shit, man. We don't have shit. Wait, 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 wait. We could do the fingerprint thing, maybe. Yeah, all we have to know is what buttons have been pressed. We can use this to find out what the next two numbers are. Oh, 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 what? Huh? Maybe I should examine it. The label reads fingerprint powder in some strange language. How do we know for sure? What if this is really a jar for something else, like jam or honey? Man, who cares, Trucy? Your mouse is on the screen? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for this one. Take that! <clears throat> if you press the buttons, you'd have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me, just let me dust them. Let me get, get freaking dusting, okay? <laughs> Look, you can see the oily finger residues clearly. Those are glove marks. The burglar must have been wearing gloves. Well, we might not be able to identify the burglar, but we can open the safe. Let's give it a shot. Uh, I, I, five, two, or two, five. It could be. Soundtrack of the game, this game slaps? Yeah. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> it opened. All Ace Attorney music goes hard. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x-ray in here with a... Mm, can't make heads or tails out of it. And I can't read the chart either, it's all in medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, by patient it says, Walkie Kataki. So this is Walkie, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be in the safe? Why is there, is that a fucking bullet hole? Hello? <laughs> Let's see, the physician's signature says Palmeractus, or is it, I think it's Palmeractus. Malpractice, you know? What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Let's see, Nurse Alita Tiala. What the hell? Alita Tiala is Waki's fiance. That's one Ida too many, Apollo Lo. Never mind that, what's her name doing here? How should I know? Though, I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic? Odd that she'd neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So Alia Tiala worked at the Maractus Clinic. And she had access to Waki Kataki's medical chart. You got the I and Y wrong, Apollo. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Why? What? It, do it doesn't make sense. It don't make any goddamn sense. It doesn't freaking make any sense. I might- Oh, I can't examine the golden lucky cat? Whatever. 
<clears throat> yeah, they yeah, she's been misspelling his name as like part of a bit. This looks like a bullet hole. Hmm, you can still see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of a safe? Hey, the bullet came out. The tip is all squished. Not surprising, given that it was fired into a metal safe. This bull's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Squished from impacts with the back of the safe. There's got to be a different word. <laughs> huh. Ugh. Squished. <clears throat> Spotted plant has seen better days. Hmm, that doesn't make sense either. What doesn't? Normally, burglars are looking for valuables, right? That's true. That's what I would do if I were a burglar. So why look under a potted plant? Maybe they're looking for the key to the safe? I've heard of people putting their house keys under plants, but the key to a safe? Maybe the burglar was looking for the house keys. This is getting nowhere. Huh. Hmm. Fucking lamp. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bolt's broken. Broken? Don't you mean burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. Why is it standing up on the floor like that? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splotch on part of the cord. You think that's blood? It's a little bright for blood, almost pinkish. Something's definitely odd about this lamp, that's for sure. Whoa. Huh? Is that a fucking grape juice? Phoenix! Okay, it's not grape juice. The window is ajar. Don't say it. That must be how our burglar escaped. Yo, thanks for the raid, Sigrid. Welcome! I hope you had a good stream. Hold on, I gotta drink some water. Hi! I'm Juniper, we're playing Ace Attorney. We're right in the middle of Trial 2. So spoilers, maybe. Welcome. I wonder who it was. Maybe it's just a burglar who happened to pick here? Yeah, but there's a patrol car sitting out front. If I were a burglar, I'd come back the next day at least. I'd give it a month myself. I have a broken, I obviously needed to break in today. Weird. Odd. Strange. Strange. Weird. I guess, oh, okay, we already, now what? Now what, man? Peculiar, even, perhaps. Maybe we look at the garage again, just in case? Nah, there's nothing else here. Nothing else here. Uh... Can you show the chart to Eldune? If I could find Eldune. Um, but Eldune isn't at his house. <clears throat> I'm just gonna swing by, there we go. I know the face, the face of someone who's made a discovery. Hey, how'd you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Next you'll have is analyzing face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. Wait, what, huh? All right. Sky, help. Help, Sky. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Ah, Trucy, wait. What? This bullet was inside the safe, right? That means the police don't know about it yet. Oh, right. We can use this in the trial tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love how... 
I love how, like, wild and loose they play with, like, <laughs> the law. <laughs> do I have to repeat myself every time? If you're going to talk behind someone's back, do so quietly. Shit. Sheesh! Okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm, yes, yes. Did you find something? Well, scientifically speaking, these are a pair of women's sandals. Pretty cute, too. We found them in the lobby at the Maractus Clinic. Hmm? Say, this sandal has a toe mark. A toe mark? You mean a toe print? That I do. You can analyze it just like a fingerprint. This little clue might be a real windfall. Oh, there's one problem. The police station doesn't keep a record of toe prints. So we won't know... <laughs> Who's this? Imagine the smell. I guess that would be too much to hope for. Still, it might be useful somehow. Let's analyze it. Well, yeah, it's just... Like, come on, we know what the- like, we know whose shoes these are. Mmm! <laughs> Yo, thanks for the raid, uh, Kiff Chatterley the Squirrel. Uh, thanks for the gifted stuff to Sigrid and Bird, and thanks, Azuri, for the 28 months. Hey, Apollo, you think this is- Huh, this could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Let's try it out. Dust for print where? Oh, just like around? Just everywhere? <clears throat> okay. Imagine. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a sicko. Hey, it worked. It looks like a big toe, maybe. Wait, I mean, it's great that we got the print, but is there such thing as a list of toe prints? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match this print. Seems like a good time to ask a detective's advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we kind of broke uh, uh, the, the chronological order here. <laughs> These sandals. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Too bad we don't know whose toe it is. We do! Unless there's a twist. A sexy twist? A different woman? Hmm? Could be. Well, there's a way of finding out, of course. There is? What? All you need is a sample of the same toe print off another shoe, for instance. Oh, right. So if the prints match, you know the same person wore both. Mm, do I have it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, we have another shoe. I think I just might, actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. Detective Sky, can you compare the sample with this other print? Take that! Take that! Are you the one messaged me on Discord? No. No. It's probably someone trying to sell you some shit on Fiverr. And a bunch of YouTubers have a bunch of imitators running around. I did say toe print sample, didn't I? Where exactly is the toe print on this evidence? Oh, shit. Okay, fi fine. Fine. Oh, <laughs> Imagine. I wonder, could this be a print? Why would there be people a little little but we can analyze it. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I just picked up my tab. It startled me. Looks like a big toe, maybe? Yeah, 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we present. Ah, the slippers. That's quite a clear print there. A toe print. Well, there's a way of finding out, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have two toe prints! I think we're just sequence breaking a little bit. Nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course. Hang on. Bingo. Gosh, I'm good. Hey, we're the ones who found the prints. A perfect match. The same person wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out who these sandals belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer to the truth. No way. That makes it nah, 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 nah. That's too easy. It's fine. It's Ace Attorney. There's gonna be some some weird twist. <clears throat> it's just too easy. Damn it. Detective Sky, I was wondering about this. Ah, Tracy, wait. It's vital evidence. You can't show her that. <clears throat> All right. It's Walkie's dad. <laughs> I think it's gonna be the parrot. Yeah. All right. What about this? No, we can't show her the bullet either. Uh, I do want to examine this though. There's like red paint or something on it. That kind of look- hey, am I st Nah, it, it, it looked like a lip print, like lipstick for some reason. I think it might be, but why? What the fuck? Did she trip on it and like smooch it? <laughs> God, I wonder what left that stain. Wait, I know, maybe it was left red lip of the red marker. Like they were trying to write their name and slipped. Why would anyone write their name on a lamp cord? Why would anyone smooch a lamp cord? I used to write my name on my magic ropes. Weird. What the hell? What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, if it's broken, it won't turn on. Oh, how's it broken? Don't touch that. You'll cut yourself. Yeah, yeah. Fool me once, she won't fool me twice. My finger! Trucy! You... Uh, you're bleeding! Let me see that! Wait. Magic blood! Teehee! Gotcha! Please don't do that again. I have enough to worry about without my coworkers injuring themselves on the evidence. Oh, Trucy. You little... You little scoundrel. You silly little guy. Uh, we have to, we have to go to the de detention center. <clears throat> well, the time of the decision is upon us. Which one of our two jailbirds do we want to talk to? Excuse me. Both detainees are currently quest in questioning to corroborate their accounts. Mr. Stickler and Walkie? Both of them? Fuck! God damn it! I pity the questioner. I guess we'll be back then. No! No! What do I do? These motherfuckers are always in questioning! Oh, 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 Phoenix? Yay! I missed him! Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. 
Heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you have to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright! Tell me what happened seven years ago, please. I want to know. I need to know. You certainly didn't waste any time getting to the point. Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of a client. The case involved the death of a certain magnific magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. Magnificent genius? It was all over the news. I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yeah. He was only 17 years old at the time. God damn! What is with the fucking teenage geniuses in this series? <laughs> 17 years old? That's still high school. No, no, it can't be Edgeworth. I, I feel like I would have heard about it if it was Edgeworth. Because, like, the Ace Attorney fandom would, like, talk about it. <clears throat> He took the bar exam. <clears throat> he took the bar exam abroad in Europe. They're getting progressive over there, you know. I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice forever. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? That ain't right. That ain't. That's not what happened. No way. What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? They said that you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. Phoenix! Phoenix! Why do you think you could just lie to me? Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging attorney himself? How does it feel? I don't want to believe it's true. But what about what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. <laughs> I don't see you jump into my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But... I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright, looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery for now. Phoenix! You either die a hero or live long enough to become a villain. Thoughts on this? It's refreshing to be so thoroughly ignored for a change. Hmm. He's not gonna have any thoughts about this stuff. No way. Well, maybe now we can go back to the detention center? I need to talk to Walkie. Yay! I love him! Don't cry, Angel. Daddy's back and Daddy's... Uh, oh. You again. You always have to announce your entrances like that? Man, my old man, he... Man! Now I'm all in the funk and it's his fault! One can only assume that his father tried to teach him a lesson and failed, clearly. You two got your work cut out for you, straight up! Of course, I don't care if they lock me up. I'm ready to go! Some days I wonder why I do what I do. Walkie! Why didn't you tell us that she was the nurse at the clinic? Hey man, you won't see me bugging for one or two guilty charges. What if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, shorty? Like a badge of honor. 
They don't give the death penalty, do they? <laughs> Stare. <laughs> you didn't really did it, do it, did you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Probably one thing today is that silence speaks louder than words. Man, my old man is whack. Disappointing, that's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob? Over my dead body. I spent my life trying to keep it real, being an OG and never stepping down. Now my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. The day I get out of the clink? That's the day Alita and I start the next generation of the Kataki family. Please don't talk as though it's assumed you're going to jail for my sake. <laughs> never step down, never what? Never give up! Hey dude, um... Got some things for you to look at! <clears throat> Walk, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure thing I do. I was the one who bought them for her. For Miss Tiala? Yeah, birthday present. She got mad little feet. Mad, so cute, man. <laughs> so these sandals are hers. Yeah, I kinda had a feeling. What's up with the funky vibes? <sighs> huh? What's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie. It's yours. Hey, look. I don't smoke or nothing. I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look. Here, in particular. Where it says, nurse, it's signed, Alita Tiala. Huh, you lawyers do your homework. So you met Miss Tiala when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic, so? Could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting? Fine, fine, I'll tell you how I met if you want to know that bad. Yeah, kinda. Did she try to kill you or something? Like, what's going on? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Guys, stop! Stop trying to kill this guy! Look at him! He's innocent! He's pure! About half a year ago, I was shot during a little turf war with another family. I was ready to die! Sure. But they came in and got me, hauled me off to the docks. The Maractus Clinic? That's where I met her, my fallen angel. You mean Alita Tiala? I wouldn't call him pure, he's totally killed someone. <laughs> but look at him, look at him. It ruffles his little ears. She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say, the bad guy always gets the ladies. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said? What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said it real quiet like on the down low. Know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you'll marry me. So that was the proposal? You know it, an oath of love, right there in the hospital room. Just like that, the op was done and we were out of there. See you later, bye! Um, about that op? Yeah, it didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report. I know it's still in me. <clears throat> His health checkup was the boss's idea, you said. Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're Rajit, you know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet at that checkup? Yeah. That's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get that cap pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, aren't I? 
Is <clears throat> Incidentally, have you ever had a health checkup before? No, my old man suddenly gets his idea that we all gotta get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older, I mean. That's fucking weird. This, this is so weird, man. She proposed to him at the hospital? Is he stupid? <laughs> yeah. this bullet? Nah, he don't. He got no idea. No idea. Would he recognize this lamp? Nah. I figured not. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Now what? Swing by the mansion? Shit. She's not here. I can't ask her why the fuck they were doing checkups. We should be about ready for the next uh, day of the trial, I think. There's probably just like one more thing we have to go check. Like Eldune's house. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Eldune, we've been looking all over for you. Aw, oh, fuck. I. <laughs> What's his voice? Harry! What's the matter, Trucy doll? Apollo, show what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he's a doctor still. <laughs> Mr. Aldoon, is everything okay? I'm just <laughs> so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. <laughs> Mr. Eldude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Eldude. Wait, hold on. We should probably talk to him first. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got something for you, bud. Take a look at this. Mr. Eldude, could you take a look at this? Hmm? A medical chart? Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Eldoon? What? What's going on here? That's what we want to know. The chart belongs to my client. He's on trial on suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy. You can't put him on trial. He's ABD. ABD? All but dead! He's knocking on the pearly gates and someone's about to answer. No! Can, can you tell us why? Holy shit! <laughs> well, permit me to speak as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. <laughs> No way, it's like he's a completely different person. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, according to this chart, this walkie-talkie feller's not doing so well. He's got a bullet right upside his heart. That's right. Yeah, but this chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can still see that bullet stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is it was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet snug is a bug there, next to the aorta, which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal is just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to either side and there'd be some serious bleeding going on in there. Not something your average doctor would be e eager to fiddle with. Y you mean... It took a miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. 
Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I give him another half a year, tops. No! Somebody has to save him! But Walkie's operation was already a half year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. This kid shouldn't be on trial. He should be on an operating table. Great, just great. How could Dr. Maractius do such a terrible thing? How could he just leave that bullet in there? I've got a pretty good idea of how he felt. An emergency operation. He's got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds out that bullet. So that's despair right there, Trucy doll. Gold despair. Despair. About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in the situation to go admitting he couldn't take it out. The Katakis. You bet. This kid's their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walkies back on the street, living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. How awful. And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to them, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible. He left Walkie to die. There's darkness in this world, Trucy doll, waiting, hungry. Compared to it, these gangs' turf wars are like kid games. When you're up against a real evil, well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong, it'll take you all the same. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Eldoon? You could operate on Walkie, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in the country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So, so Walkie... He's real lucky to be alive even now. No. There's one problem. Apollo? This chart. Look at the nurse section. Alita Tiala. That's right, this operation was how they met. Yeah, the problem is, she knew. She knew about Walkie's condition, guaranteed. This bitch! I knew from the second I set eyes on her. Uh, why did she ever tell him? It doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, you'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. She wants to kill him! What was she thinking? Apollo? What were you thinking? Alita Tiala? Why? Okay, why, why this? But then... But then also this, like, he gets framed for murder. What, what's going on? <laughs> who is who who is trying to frame him for murder? <laughs> I feel insane. He gets sentenced for murder, dies in prison, she takes everything. Maybe. This is it, the big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Yeah, that's normal. I usually go to bed at 2 a.m. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. Oh, fuck, I've been there. <laughs> that's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you have me. And the amazing Dr. Hat. Here's looking at you, kid. Good luck today, Apollo. <gasps> that voice. Hey, uh, get any sleep? It's right. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing at the Indochine Pasta Joint seem almost fun. Do you know Gap from- 
<laughs> me when I have to say daddy unironically. <laughs> I just like instantly choke. <laughs> Do you know who Prosecutor Gavin's witness is today? Take a guess. Hmm. How about Little Plum? <laughs> that Sherman tank of a mom? Nope, yes again. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say? That Sherman tank of a mom. Need. Need, 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 need. Need! Need! <laughs> That's too bad. You know, speaking of moms, you need to find me a new mommy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're already at it, Trucy. <laughs> okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. <laughs> yeah, like, they're both just, like, they're both just, like, doing a fucking bit. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. She's going to be a witness? But that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? This bitch! You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today. That much is clear. Well, not to worry. I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of here. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Fuck. Every single time I'm stumped by what the fuck his voice is supposed to be. Prosecution is warmed up and it's a sold out house. Very well, to recap. Will yesterday's witness seem more guilty than any other party? Guilty of panty snatching. We did find one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Air Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon, the preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all, you see. To his betrothed. His betrothed. His fiance, Air Judge, his partner for life with no chance for parole. Very well. You may show the um, lucky lady to the stand. <laughs> Your name and occupation, Fraulein. Alida Tiala. My occupation is future wife. <laughs> ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't want to testify at first, uh, but I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm. Honesty, another admirable trait. Fraulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant Wakikataki confessed his plans? His plans for murder. Yes. The witness will please give her testimony to the court. Cancel her Starbucks order. <laughs> Kick this bitch out of Nordstrom. <laughs> it was the day that the family health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols, and you already know what happened that night. I... I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. So the pistol did belong to the Kataki family then? Yes, with regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it... Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes, this has been proven. 
How can he approve something like that? Let's carry marks from the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know about rifling marks. <clears throat> Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint left on every bullet it fires. When did you first hear of Milwaukee's plan? It was the day of the murder. I- I should have stopped him! I didn't think he would actually do it. <laughs> Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. <laughs> Cut all five of her credit cards! <laughs> it was the day that the family health checkup re results came back. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes, everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Wacky looked at his, his face went so pale. But of course, you just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So you were there at the time? Yeah, poor Wacky. When Wacky found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. That must have been a quite frightening. He was furious! He ripped his report into shreds! Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A blah 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 there was some chore, but I performed it without complaint. Maki's at an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute! <laughs> Now he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. So, is it easy to take a pistol out of the house? Not Billy, really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. But Waki's a special case being the next in line. Perhaps his treatment was a bit too special, yeah? Well, maybe he's a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. What the fuck? Huh? Sounds like he has a taste for sweets and danger. The point here being that Walkie had access to a pistol. <clears throat> and you already know what happened that night. What happened? Meaning the murder. I tried to stop it, I really did! But Waki wouldn't listen! Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I... I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. How can you say that for certain? How? Objection! Uh. Oh shit! I, I like the wall slave he does. Air forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Fraulein. It was the defendant, Mwaki mm, was it, who took the pistol from his home. We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not, simple logic, yeah? That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? I do, actually. Could someone else have used that pistol? Yeah, there had to be someone else because Walkie's fingerprints were on the knife, but they weren't on the pistol because they thought that somebody was... what, Like, they... Fuck. No, they said that the... It had been wiped. There is another. Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. M little Plum? Or maybe it was her. She could have she could have made Walkie get it. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. I mean, right? Right? I <laughs> Hmm. Take that! Take 
take that! Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Ciala. M me But why? You were quite que clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection! Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé. And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this? It does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I would hope you would do more than hesitate. But what if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Mm, that would put things into a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I, I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. That looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the court's attention to the names written on the chart. What? Mistiala? Whatever. Why is your name on this chart? <laughs> well, care to explain the meaning of this, Mistiala? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala, you testified that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess, you're the kind of guy who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past! Am I right? Th that's not true at all. Why, I... <laughs> I embrace the ones I love. Past flaws. <laughs> Have a good night, Reagan. <laughs> There's no connection now. It doesn't fly in a court of law. Doesn't fly? one tough night. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true, but you were made connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Well, she used the shoes from the Maractus Clinic. But which one? Candles are found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? Oh! Uh, well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry for a line, but your act isn't working. Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What's with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you are unaware that toes leave toe prints? Whole lot of feet and panties in this case, huh? A simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Why is- yeah, why is her lawyer throwing her under the bus? What the fuck? Well, now we see your true colors. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted- I just wanted you to help get Waki back on the straight and narrow. I know he's not her lawyer, but she she is like a witness for his prosecution. Hmm. This court thinks you need to worry less about walking and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic, which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's little point in denying it. 
Very well. The witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Baki had the pistol. The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful as an old friend. <clears throat> no way, dude. She brought the she brought the gun there. She brought the gun there and put one of those bullets in that safe. By mistake, you mean the mistake we heard about from the defendant. The botched operation. He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm. That does make sense. Yes, but there is still one thing which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. I would have worn those sandals home too. <laughs> So, why were the sandals left behind? He pointed out the contradiction before me. There's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake? That's stupid, Gavin! That's dumb! <clears throat> or Clavier, not Gavin. Actually, that's right. Oh, that's- <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you, Gavin! Oh my god. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. Oh, it is nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Yeah, forehead. Oh, what the- No fair! He's filling the holes in her testimony! The defense may begin the cross-examination. What the fuck, Gavin? That's... It's unethical! It was a leading question! Objection, objection! Fuck, this isn't a real courtroom. Shit. Oh, it's pronounced clavier. Okay. I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. Hold it! <sighs> Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30, I think. What was the first time you had in contact with Miss Doctor? That was the first time you would talk fuck in a year? Of course it was. It wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. So why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him! After all, I knew Baki had the pistol! Did you want Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Baki, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in! The victim was busy driving home until after 9pm that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, yeah? Thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor... <clears throat> the doctor was always a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. You mean that active malpractice on Walkie, correct? <sighs> if he had just told Baki the truth at the beginning, none of this would have happened. True. The operation was the start of this whole affair. Oh, of course. If he told him, he might have been erased by the Kitakis much earlier. A disturbing thought. We know that the Maractus Clinic had ties to the Kitaki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. I wonder what her twitch is. It's gotta be her touching your face, right? Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. 
No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something. I know it. Unless there's some evidence that proves it, too. You're afraid to think whatever you'd like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I wanted to tell him to be careful. As an old friend, it's gotta be your face, yeah? <clears throat> but then you'd be betraying Walkie, wouldn't you? No, I did it for him, for us! She went to warn him so that her fiancé would not have to commit such a crime, yeah? I didn't want them to take my Walkie away. Do you know why she went Apollo? She wanted the shit in the safe. Right? <laughs> I also frequently have to assure people I have no dark secrets. <laughs> yeah, dude, she wanted the she wanted the shit from the record. I'm not hiding any dark secrets. It's such a weird thing to say. Well, yeah, you were hiding a dark secret, though. You, you knew that he was gonna die. This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes? Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? <laughs> Mind filling me in. Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad, Air Doctor. This is where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means you knew about Walkie's failed operation. Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. Kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? Your ball is very novice. I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. <laughs> hmm. This chart business seems to be quite important. <laughs> Fuck. I guess up. <laughs> Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. Oh yeah, it's when she folds her hands. What is it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet tighten just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday, like you said. When a witness is unsure of something, their nervous habit gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Huh? What's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it. What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, whatever. I mean, I, I know what her nervous habit is. Come on. He's a new type! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> new type! You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo, with your own eyes. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow, touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down the testimony. It's his... It's his... Dim object. 
What was your bracelet when you worked in legal? I don't know. <laughs> A half year old chart. Gotcha. <laughs> but you know why you would go now, what don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's quite clear, Mistyala, you have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you'd use your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. What? She was unsure. I saw it. Now, that's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case? I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Huh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. I've got her on the ropes now. I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow with evidence! Miss Yala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat for you now because of this. Because of the checkup. health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Eh? Oh. N nothing Why would I think anything? Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You know what Waki's chest x-ray would reveal. <laughs> If we'll have Yuri passes the operation, you thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. <laughs> Why'd she do that though? Hey, hey, calm down now. Your Honor, crush her skull now. <laughs> Your Honor, electric chair! Whoa. What just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from air forehead. Very cool. <laughs> so the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maractus Clinic. He's also a new type! But her connection was deep indeed, a bit too deep. If the Kataki's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Yala? You've guessed it. Order, order! I, I did it, I broke her testimony. Amazing, Apollo, I didn't see it at all. Daddy was right about you. Wait! Miss Tiala? It's true! That chart was bad news for me! That's why I went to meet the doctor that day! But that's all! I told him about Waki and went home! It appears this cross-examination is far from over. What? She hid the truth from us, that is clear, yet... It is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. <clears throat> Very well, the witness will add this to her testimony. And... We have a bit more cross-examination. I was so close. You're still close, keep on her, Apollo. Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. That's... Hold it! Oh, I 
just didn't actually respond to the warning. <laughs> oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. But wouldn't be scared to learn if Kataki was after them. Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why? We had a life-threatening situation just here yesterday, right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive, the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hat, sir. After which, I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Maractus's office that day, huh? But what about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. I know, I know. But we can't prove when it happened. Nor that Elita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. I mean... That's where the other bullet from the gun went. So it had to be either Waki or Tiala that fired... I, like, okay, like, obviously it could have been a gun, a bullet from a different gun. But, like, it's not. Like, it's not, though. Huh. I tried to warn him after all I knew Waki had the pistol. If Waki had the pistol, then... Then how did this bullet end up in there? You know, it looks kind of yummy. Trucy! Like ice cream! Mm-mm! Caramel! You certainly have an active imagination. Me when I see a delicious fucking bullet. <laughs> Me after a bad day and they start to look real yummy. <laughs> This has to do with something. Because she put the slippers on, and then the slipper... Like, there was footprints around the, um... Around the scene of the crime. Hmm. Fuck, man, I... Uh, <clears throat> what to go to the clinic for a half year? I'm, I think I might be overthinking it. I might be overthinking what the game actually wants me to present. No, no. Nothing happened in the doctor's office. I disagree. Take a look at this. What's that? It looks like a squished out ball of clay. Kind of like you, actually. <laughs> this bullet was found in the Maractus Clinic office. Something did happen in that office, Miss Tiala. Objection! Enough of this joking around. The police investigated that clinic. Objection! Yeah, put him in his place! Oh, but this was stuck inside the doctor's safe. Inside the safe. I guess the police didn't check that far. Objection! 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 <laughs> but there is a problem. How can you say that the bullet was fired on that day? Objection! Holy shit! Weren't you the one who explained rifling marks to us? The pistol was taken from the Kataki mansion that day. 
If the marks on this bullet match the murder weapon, then that proves a firearm was discharged in that office on the day of the murder. Not bad, Air Forehead. Bailiff, have this bullet analyzed immediately. <laughs> Bull <laughs> Bailiff has his <laughs> have his asshole shaved immediately. Bing bong, bing bong. A body has been discovered. <laughs> the rifling marks on both bullets are identical. Well, it's just that easy. Well, it seems as though the bullet in the safe was fired from the murder weapon. Perhaps the defendant would like to state their position. The bullet in that safe proves one fact. A pistol was fired in that office on that day. Bail <laughs> Bailiff, whack his pee-pee. <laughs> The safe which contained the top secret shard. Do you think someone was threatening Dr. Maractus in order to open the safe? Only one person was in a position to do such a thing. Our witness, Alita Tiala. <clears throat> order, order. Mr. Justice, where are you going with this? Are you accusing the witness? Lady Tiala knew about Walkie Kataki's botched operation. She got engaged to him without telling him about it. As long as that bullet remained in his chest, his days were numbered. What if she married him? Then the bullet finally reached his destination. What? That reminds me. Apparently, the Katakis have been asserting themselves in the lawful business practices. They're making quite a great deal of money. A fortune, if you will. Nefarious? Should she plan to murder him? Mar marry him? Ooh, a Freudian slip. <laughs> Just to get her hands on this fortune? Objection! Oh shit! Oh shit, Waki! <laughs> you keep talking trash about my Alita, and I'll sue you, lawyer man! Huh? Huh? Me? Yeah, you said. You said you'd, 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 you'd abuse my Alita! Uh, I think you mean accuse. Same difference. Well, you can't have her. She's mine. It was me I shot that doctor. Me! He left me to die, so I left him to die too. They're in that park. Walkie, just cool down a second, please. You keep your hands off my Alita, or I'll, I'll... Oh god, oh no. Miss <laughs> Tiala. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just. It's been so long since I laughed so hard! <laughs> Something funny? Baki. Wake up and smell reality. Oh, a little baby. The signature on the chart, the engagement. I mean, come on, it's so obvious. That man is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Even for a brainless, spoiled brat such as yourself. Alita. Your honesty is like a breath of foul air, Fraulein. Hey, I wasn't getting out of this clean anyway. So the family fortune is what you're really after. That's right, I wanted the money. No way, that's, that's whack. I ain't trying to hear that. Should have done the wedding earlier. Oh well. By the way, can I ask you a question? Oh, me? I believe you said you were going to abuse me. I accuse. Of what crime, might I ask? Huh? Oh, I'm a bad girl, sure. I got close to a brat because I wanted his money. But he was the one with the pistol. 
He could have fired it into the safe after I'd already left the clinic. What? I would never do a thing like that. It was definitely that silly brat. What are you talking about? Jadrusi? You had the most to lose if that chart was found! But I didn't have a pistol, now did I? Well, you could have taken walkies! You think he'd have mentioned that, no? All I heard him say is, it was me! I shot him! Objection! That's only because he's trying to protect you! Sorry to intrude in this lovely conversation. But the two of you are forgetting one critical point. What point? Certainly the Fraulein wanted that chart. You assume she threatened the doctor into opening that safe, but then... Wouldn't she have taken the chart? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what happened? <laughs> what happened exactly? <clears throat> Does Trucy just stand off to the side and look pretty? She's her, she's an assistant. She's like, she's just, she's an assistant. She's not the lawyer. You see? The chart wouldn't have been left in that safe. He, he's right. Yes. It is clear that this court, to this court that you were not a very good fiance. <laughs> Oh, I'm flattered. Perhaps it's time you told us the truth? Tell us about yourself, including your actions and whereabouts on that day. <laughs> Stay mad. <laughs> Don't forget. We've proven that you were at the Maractus Clinic on the day of the crime. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. I wanted that chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof that I stole the pistol, do you? Trucy is the quirked up niche internet celebrity that is about to quit her paralegal work. <laughs> and that brat was spotted in the Park at the moment of the crime. Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. <clears throat> you went back later. That chart was dangerous, you understand? I needed to get rid of it. That's why I went that day. But you couldn't get the chart then, could you? And later that night, Dr. Maractus was shot. I heard about the shooting, waited a day, but then I had to go back. No easy feat with the cops all over the place. Ah, th that was you? Uh, Apollo, the sound, it came from behind this door. Someone's in there. A break in, they left through that window. So you were the burglar. That was you two? If only I had one more minute. Then I could have opened that safe and gotten the chart. What? That's trespassing. And brazen at that. Oh, is this a trial for trespassing now? Besides, you can't blame a girl for wanting to protect herself. They're gangsters, you know. In any case, Mr. Justice, your cross-examination. Admitting the little crime to avoid the big one, eh? <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Yes, I went to the clinic that day to speak to the doctor. Why that day? That brat was uncontrollable. He was ready to kill. And that would bring in the police? And that chart would become the evidence? And I'd be hung out to dry! But the police didn't check the safe, did they? Well, they thought the crime scene was the park. I'll make sure the responsible parties feel the heat. Such sloppiness won't be tolerated, yeah? Kinda 
thankful for the sloppiness myself, actually. I wanted a chart, but I failed to get it, so I went back to the clinic later. Later? When I heard what happened, well, I was too scared to do anything that day. So I waited until the day after. The 16th, was it? Of course, you and that meddling kid had to get in my way. Well, why did Dr. Maractus keep that chart around? It was clearly dangerous for him. You could have burned it. Leverage, baby, leverage. Because he's a coward. The chart was his insurance. Insurance? My signature on that chart, to be more specific, that made sure I couldn't betray him. Yo, thank you for the raid, Eric. Welcome. <clears throat> we deep in this case too shit. So you're gonna be on some spoilers probably. In any case, I didn't shoot him. You don't even have proof I stole that pistol, do you? How did the bullet end up in the safe? Well, you could have stolen it. Could have? Is this some sort of new definition of proof? We'll ask Walkie, he'll tell us. Objection! Might I remind you that this is a cross-examination? You might want to keep your baseless theories to yourself. He's right, isn't he? Hmm. And that brat was spotted in the park at the moment of the crime. Yeah, but, um... But what? You have nothing to say. This case is over. It was over the moment that brat was seen in the park. What's the point in dragging it out any further? Frankly, I don't think it matters if Dr. Maractus was shot in the temple or not. Do you think Trucy sketches Apollo and Gavin exploring each other's bodies during trial? Yeah, yeah, Trucy, show us the sketchbook. <laughs> the doctor was shot in the right temple, yes? I bet the judge is doing that shit, too. So it seems. Let's review the facts again, shall we? It's her own blue cat folder. Trucy. If the killer shot from this location, the bullet would have struck our victim square in the forehead. However, the entry wound was in the right temple. Yes, we heard the testimony on this yesterday. At the time of the shooting, the witness was standing here. Just before the gun was fired, he shouted. The victim turned his head to look. Blam! And was shot. Objection! Yeah, no, he was on the other side. But that testimony was proven to be a lie. Well, it wasn't a lie. It was just more... Yeah, yeah, he was on the- yeah, he was on the other side of it. But he was standing to the north, next to the trash can where he tossed those panties. Okay, so it was a lie, he was just trying to distance himself. <clears throat> if Mr. Stickler shouted from this location, the bullet couldn't hit his right temple. Silly, silly attorney. What? Do you remember what you had for breakfast that morning? Do you remember, Trucy? I always have a glass of milk for breakfast. What matters is one thing. The doctor was shot in his right temple. If that's the case, there can only be one explanation. The panties guy was mistaken. Objection! But his location was proven. You can't write that off as him being mistaken. Objection! Then why don't you show us their forehead? Show you what? Must I explain everything? Very well, let's recap. If the witness panties guy was standing to the north, then where was the shooter standing? From what location did the killer shoot the victim? 
But wait, if the witness was standing there, yeah, where the fuck would the killer be? How could anyone shoot the victim in the right temple? <laughs> I merely laid out the facts for us. It's up to the one possessing the shiny forehead to show us. Behind the cart or inside the cart? Maybe? Walkie Kataki was standing at the killer mark. Wesley Stickler at the witness mark. And of course, Paul Maractus was at the victim mark. If they, yeah. As the facts stand now, we can't explain this crime without contradicting ourselves at some point. But I know why. The real killer shot from an entirely different location. What are you talking about? I don't see any other place. Apparently, Mr. Justice does. Let's hear it. Where in the park did the killer shoot the victim? Objection! It's time to raise the roof and the stakes. Huh? Panel, these are such frightening things, don't you think? But what if they were a bit more terrifying? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Break it down, Gavin! <laughs> like so. D double <laughs> Oh shit! Double penalty? Air Forehead wishes to take us in a new direction? Then he must be ready for the challenges ahead. Challenge accepted. It's, it, it's justice time, baby. It's justice time. Are you sure, Apollo? The key is the witness, Mr. Stickler's testimony. We believe that and we know where he stood. And the victim turned when he shouted. There's only one place that the killer could have been. Yeah, it would have to go into the right temple, so they were either inside the cart or behind it. I think they were they had to have been inside the cart. There's no way somebody behind the cart is gonna shoot through the cart. <clears throat> I believe we all owe a debt of gratitude. To Miss Alita Tiala. What? What do you mean? Thanks to you, we had a chance to review the crime. And this time, we were prepared. We know that Wesley Stickler was telling the truth. We should have listened to him from the beginning. Wesley Stickler was sitting next to the trash can when he saw the two men. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. He shouted just as he told us in his testimony. Hey, stop that! And the victim turned to look in his direction. A shot was fired. And the victim was hit in the right temple. Right here. Oh no. Oh yes! Which direction was his right temple facing at that moment? That's right, towards the noodle stand. What if it was Eldoon? <laughs> order, order, order. So you're saying the killer was inside the noodle stand? Objection. Let's think about this a bit more, shall we? You say the killer was inside the noodle stand. Which would mean the victim, Dr. Maractus, came to the park, wheeling his own murderer in the cart behind him. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Why was... Why... <laughs> Why did he steal the noodle stand? Also, who hit Phoenix with a car? Oh my god, I feel like this case has just started. What the fuck? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I think you'd notice if you were pulling someone along. There's something we should worry about before that. Oh, right. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The doctor hit Phoenix with a car. Sure. No. Yes. Yes. The doc. Yes. Okay. Fuck. Okay. All right. 
Why was he pulling the noodle stand in the first place? Objection! Let's deal with our own problems one at a time, shall we? Someone was hiding in the stand. We have not come this far to talk about possibilities. <laughs> Let's talk about proof, baby. Show us evidence that proves someone was in that stand. Can I prove that? What evidence that someone was in the stand? I... Uh... Huh? These were found in the trash can. That's not like evidence though, but they were found in the trash can and they did have the print on the bottom from one of those leaves. In the park, you guys remember those leaves? I was like, look at the leaves, look at the leaves, the leaves. And people were like, Juniper, you're fucking dumb. You're stupid as hell. That's nothing. <laughs> pointing at the leaves. No, yes, you cannot say literally no one said that. People were like, Junie, it's a park. There were leaves. Show us proof that someone was hiding in the noodle stand. Oh God, this is like such a weird gamble. The Maractus Clinic and they're covered with paint. These slippers were found in a trash can near the scene of the crime. And... A single slipper print was found at the scene. WITH A LEAF ON IT! Right next to the noodle stand. Oh, and Miss Diala? Your toe print was found in the left slipper. This is too, it's too easy, right? In other words, this is proof you were inside that noodle stand. Objection! I'm not doing that. Mm. Mm. Yet there was only one slipper mark found at the scene. Actually, you know what? Maybe this isn't too easy for trial two. I, I think the weird twists start to come out like later in the game. Can this be called a footprint in good faith? Objection! Observe the diagram. A park pathway runs right next to the slipper mark. A slipper wouldn't leave a trace on a cobblestone path. Objection! Yet you cannot say this is a footprint, ya. Yeah? Why not? You have an impression left by a single slipper. What if it was on the stand and simply fell to the ground? <gasps> Gavin, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> that's... that's just dumb! <laughs> One more thing. A noodle stand is typically cluttered with the tools of the noodle-making trade. There's no room for a person to ride in there. Yes, there is, because all the bowls were taken out. Could someone have hidden in that stand? Apollo, I think I might be onto something. I think I figured out one way, one of our pieces of evidence. In order to make room in the sand, some things would have to be... Well, Mr. Justice, you have proof that someone could have hidden in the sand? I can prove one thing. Someone did scheme to clear space in that stand. Do I have, like, more pictures of evidence of, like... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, here, it's a bowl. Check this out. Bowl. <clears throat> this is a noodle bowl from the stolen Aldoon's noodle noodle stand. Yes, and what about it? We discovered a large quantity of these bowls yesterday. In the lobby of the Maractus Clinic. 
A large quantity of noodle bowls in the victim's clinic? Mr. Aldoon was very clear about those bowls. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls were in there, too. Yet the bowls were removed. That night, there was space inside that noodle stand. Space created at the Maractus Clinic, no less. Right around the time that you were there, Miss Alita Tiala. Stop! I won't listen to any more of these vile fantasies. No, not fantasies. The worst lies than that spoiled brat's pickup lines. I would like to remind the witness of her current status. This court does not consider you entirely innocent. Show me an innocent. I will show you a fairy tale. In any case, the defense has somehow made its point. The witness had both a motive and an opportunity to kill Dr. Maractus. More fairy tales. This whole trial is a fairy tale. Then please, pull us back down to reality, Miss Tiala. I'm giving you one last chance to explain yourself. Before I have... <laughs> before I call the bailiff. <laughs> <clears throat> this is it. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling the stand that night? And what was Alita Tiala doing inside it? Time to get to the bottom of this case. That night, I went to ask Dr. Maractus for the chart. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. But Dr. Maractus didn't understand. For some reason, he thought the Katakis had sent me. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. You knew about the botched operation. So you tried to get rid of the chart to save yourself. I won't make excuses. And I did warn the good doctor. I gave him a chance. I told him that Brat got his health checkup report. And that he was coming to settle the score. Hmm, I see. Very well, Mr. Justice, begin your cross-examination. This is the last testimony. Either I perceive the truth or it's over. This is the end of the case, isn't it? I, I feel like there are things that haven't... That just don't... That haven't quite added up yet. Like, how did a bullet get inside of the safe if she wasn't able to open it? I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. We'll just start from the beginning. Hold it! So you did go to steal that chart. Were you listening? I said I asked him for it. The victim was a man in good health. I don't see how she could have coerced him. True, it would have been impossible without a pistol. What if she did have a pistol? I'll admit I wanted a chart. That much is true. My reason was simple. I had no intention of ever letting that chart fall into the Kataki family's hands. Hold it! <clears throat> Certainly would have put a damper on your wedding plans, I'd say. Not only that, if the Katakis had gotten that chart, I'd probably be with Dr. Maractus right now, pulling that great noodle stand to the sky. It seems our witness was in a fix as well. I would want to die pulling a noodle sand. When I die, it'll be by disappearing mysteriously in the middle of a magic act. <laughs> that's, that's creepy, Tracy. Could we be a little less morbid, please? <laughs> so you see, I needed that chart. But Dr. Baractus didn't understand. Hold it! He didn't understand? He wouldn't listen to a word I was saying. The moment he saw me, he started to tremble. Ha! I thought, what a sad excuse for a man. <laughs> Please don't smile like that anymore. It's creepy. He was practically delusional. For some reason, he thought the Kentuckys had sent me. Hold it! 
they sent you? He thought that Katakis had sent me to get the chart. It makes some sense. You are their son's fiance. Don't make me laugh. The Katakis sent me? They don't play that way. If they'd known about the chart, they would have gone and they were guns blazing. But I couldn't convince the trembling doctor otherwise. So I gave up and went home. All I did was talk to him. If that was really all that happened, what were all those noodle bowls doing in there? How should I know? There weren't any bowls when I went, I know that much. Why don't you let me be and go look for your killer someplace else, alright? Do I detect uncertainty there? This is my last chance. Apollo, any word from your bracelet? Yeah, actually. I could see a thing. It's up to you. Time to perceive the truth. Uh, I'm releasing my my dark power. I'm really <laughs> I'm releasing my justice. I'm about to justice all over. That's weird, she's playing with her ring, but why? For the chart? Maybe she was asking for something else. Hmm. For the chart? Gotcha. Is it that night, or...? I don't think- I think I fucked it up. That night? Was it a different night? Or- or was it I went to ask Dr. Maractus? Or- I, I don't think she went to ask, I think she threatened him. I think that's what it is. But I don't see how that would, like, Matter? Whatever. We'll, we'll try, though. I'm perceiving my justice! Gotcha! Oh, wait, shit. Oh, no, no, no. I was, yeah, I was, I was looking at her face. I'm stupid. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the text. Hee <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're right, you're right. Oh fuck, it's still not that- alright, 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 okay, it was- it, it had to have been that night, it's either the fucking- <laughs> I'm not impatient, I don't think she- I- I just don't think she asked, I- th I think- Whatever. For the chart, or maybe she didn't take it, she took something gotcha. else. What the fuck?! I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. You have to actually see her fidget with the ring? What? I thought- I thought it, it would just matter what part of the sentence you would do it on. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, oh, I'm, my justice! My justice is overwhelming! Uh, uh, my justice! Well, she didn't fidget at all. Unless there's a new tell, y maybe. I <clears throat> I 
I'm stuck. Did a little twitch. All I did was talk and lie. What? Show me proof. I'm pretty sure about this one. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A little slip in confidence and they give it all away. The proof is you, Miss Diala. All I did was talk to him, you claim? You can't hide your own nervous twitch when you say those words. My Twitch? What are you talking about? My my channel? My you, my Twitch channel? You have a habit of scratching this area around your neck, the edge of your scarf. What? what? It's working better than I'd hoped. Her unconscious actions tell the truth she won't say. Habits and lies, two dots. Connect the dots and find the truth. Don't look at me like that! I told you the truth! Seems that when you recall what really happened in that office, you can't keep your hands off your neck, can you? It seems that nervous habits are unconscious reactions that manifest when someone is trying to hide something. You can't hide behind your scarf, Miss Tiala. Something happened between you and the victim in the Maractus Clinic office. And I've got proof that shows exactly what happened. But why? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, so why would the bullet, if she didn't get the safe open, uh, unless she had to leave quickly? But also, what the fuck happened with the lamp here? Like her lipstick mark is on it and it's broken for some reason. Take that! I... Oh, what? What's that? You're touching your scarf again. There's something unusual about this lamp. The bulb is broken, and there's a red splotch on the cord. Eh. See how you hide your neck? Did he try to strangle her? I think I can come up with a plausible explanation for the lamp state. Let's spit it out! This talking in circles nonsense is killing me! Very well. The answer is very simple. Miss Alita Tiala, please remove your scarf. Damn, he tried to put her out! This tr is a trial to determine what happened in that park. Yet we seem to have drifted off target. Objection! We'll find out soon enough if we're drifting. As soon as the witness removes her scarf. I- I won't do it! This is insane! I'm a- an unrelated third party! You can't order me to remove clothing! Miss Tiala, I'm afraid you've forgotten what's already been proven. What? You're hardly unrelated. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Please remove your scarf. No. No! I knew it. So I was right, wasn't I, Miss Alita Tiala? Your neck. That isn't what I think it is. Something did happen that night at the Maractus Clinic. You needed to get that chart back no matter what it took. Even if you had to steal your fiance's pistol to do it. B but wait. Looking at this lamp and the witness's neck, it looks like the very opposite happened. Exactly. The victim in the clinic that night was this witness. Specifically, you tried to threaten Dr. Maractus and he attacked you. That's what happened that night at the Maractus Clinic. Uh. 
stop screaming and flapping and shit. Hey, chill. Hey, relax. Order, order. Will someone please tell me what really happened? I told you the truth already. I went to the clinic that night to warn Dr. Maractus. With a gun. <laughs> that gangster knows everything. He's coming for you. <laughs> it looks like my clinic seen its last patient. We have to get rid of that chart. Quick, open your safe. Give it to me. So you can save your own skin? I don't know. I don't fucking know. He's gonna have like three lines. I know what you're up to! You're wanted with the family! And if they see that chart, you're finished! Shit, he has like five lines. Leaving me holding the short straw! But if I'm going down, I want some company! You! <laughs> and what happened next? He jumped at me and knocked me to the floor. Then he took that cord. How Maractus was serious. Deadly serious. He really tried to strangle me. I, I must have blacked out. So, you were the victim. And the red splotch on the cord was your lipstick? I didn't want to remember that night. That's why I didn't bring it up. There. Are you happy now? No! How did the bullet get in the safe? Uh, I was out cold. Almost killed. And you claim I then snuck into that noodle stand? But how could I? Well, one thing is clear. Let me be clear. <laughs> we now know what really happened at the Maractus Club. And it would seem our victim was not entirely without blame himself. I am sorry. I get so nervous just thinking of it. It's hard to breathe. I told you everything. Can I go home now? Hmm. No. No. You bear some responsibility for events that day, true. Yet, if you were also a victim, this court would owe you some sympathy. Well, Mr. Justice, I believe this clears up the remaining questions for Miss Tiala. When did this happen? Suddenly, everyone's sympathizing with her. I don't know what to think anymore, Apollo. I mean, is that it? Do we know everything we need to know about Miss Tiala? Very well. This finishes the cross-examination of this- Objection! Oh, hell yeah! Alright, let's keep going! <laughs> let's keep going, Gavin! Let's go! <laughs> Not so fast. This party's just getting started. Now we rock! What? Those spikes on your head are softer than they look. Or do you not have the stomach to go all the way? Pro prosecutor Gavin. Paul Maractus choked Alita Tiala. She fell unconscious. But what happened next? He's right, there is more we don't know. But she was choked hard enough to leave that mark. She would have been out for a while. Even so, what if it was her in that noodle stand? Leah Tiala half dead? Dr. Maractus pulling that stand? And a bullet fired from inside the noodle stand. Yeah, what if he what if he thought she was dead? What if it's all true? We might have already figured out what truly happened that night. Miss Alita Tiala, as you can see, we're not through with you just yet. You barely want to blame me for this murder, don't you? 
You too. Prosecutor Gavin. Me, Frau Line. I only wish to know the truth. Well, let's go back over what we learned up till now. On the day of the murder, Walkie saw his checkup report. From what she learned about the bullet still inside him. So he took a pistol from the family stash with the intent to give Dr. Maractus some of his own medicine. And Miss Yella heard about this from Walkie. So she went to the Maractus clinic ahead of him in order to get rid of the chart with her signature. But then something happened. Sounds like you figured it all out. But remember, I was the victim. I was out cold. But what about Dr. Maractus? That does seem to be the problem. He had just strangled the Lita Tiala, perhaps he thought, to death. What did he do after his crime? I was just knocked out, not dead. From the state of the clinic and the scene in the park, I think it's clear what the good doctor did next. Yeah, he wanted to get rid of her body. Well, air forehead, care to guess? Well, Mr. Justice, what did Mar Dr. Maractus do? Maybe he did think he killed Alita. Do I have enough evidence to show what he did next? Next move, Dr. Maractus stole Guy Eldun's noodle stand. What? Killing me disturbed him that much? So much he randomly stole a noodle stand? No, it was right outside the clinic. It was right, it was like right there. It was just convenient. It just happened to be there. It wasn't so random. Remember all the bowls in the clinic's foyer? Bowls that belonged inside that stand? I think it's pretty obvious, don't you? That stand was at the clinic. However, the question is, why did he remove the bowls? Maybe because the stand was heavy. Or that he wanted to pull something in the stand in their place. Oh. Wait, you don't mean... I do. Dr. Maractus did replace those bowls with something. Your corpse, Miss Tiala. M my my clips? <laughs> Dr. Maractus panicked. He thought he killed you. His next move would be to dispose of the body. That's crazy talk. You're all crazy. <laughs> He's a cannibal? <laughs> You're dumb. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was really Eldoon all along, actually. He wanted to make a new type of noodle. Then let's think of- <clears throat> Then let's think about it logically. The doctor had a place to dispose of you in mind. But on his way there, who should he run into but the defendant, Waki Kataki? Objection! I question your logic. What's this, Prosecutor Gavin? The park is a dead end. Why would he head in that direction to begin with? That's right, he had no reason to go there. Oh, now I get it. It was a trick. That spoiled brat made him do it. He made the doctor steal the stand. <laughs> Tell me, why would someone go to a dead end? Unless the park was his destination. What? What? Apparently the defense has an idea. Tell us where Dr. Maractus was headed with the sand. Here, please show us on this diagram. To where exactly was the victim dragging the stand? The five meter wide river, baby. Take that! There? That's a, a river. Yes, your honor. I scarcely need to explain why. A perfect place to dispose of a body. He was gonna throw me into that river? He didn't have many other options, Fraulein. I 
I believe this clears up all the remaining questions. The victim pulling the stand and the defendant before him. And inside the stand, you, Miss Alita Tiala. Uh. And then the den denouement. Wesley Stickler of the panty snatching fame walks up. Seeing the two men, he shouts, No! Put the, put the gun down! Don't do it! Kiss! Don't fight! In that instant. Make love, not war! Holy shit, dude, she pointed her gun right at Waki. Like she could've she could have shot him. You were the only one who could have stolen Waki's pistol. It had to be you. Well, Miss Tiolo. <laughs> nice work. You mean I'm right? I mean, you've done a fine job dreaming up a story to get that spoiled brat off the hook. You're the one who's dreaming. Apollo's backed up everything he said with facts. If you're so sure he's making it up, give us another reason. Why was Dr. Maractus pulling that stand through the park? Who knows? But there's one gaping hole in your logic. I think Mr. Gavin knows whereof I speak. Where of what? I can't believe she's still trying to deny this. Is this true, Prosecutor Gavin? Must I always be the one to point out Air Forehead's errors? Maybe there really is something. I believe the Frau line speaks of uh, Air Doctor's car. His car? That's right, the Maractus Clinic has that big garage. In which sat a green sports car, was it? Oh yeah, why didn't he just use the car? Huh. Why would he steal the stand in the first place? The car wasn't working because of the panties. Oh yeah. If he wanted to carry a body, he would have used his car. It all comes back to panties, doesn't it? And so we find our victim without probable cause to steal that stand. And our defense without a case. Um, I have an idea. <laughs> you know that green car? I bet it wouldn't run. It was broken. Ah, uh, what an excellent counter-argument, Fraulein. Too bad you're quite wrong. Eh? Don't tell me you've forgotten what happened to your daddy. Daddy? That's right. That night, the car that hit Mr. Wright was that green sports car. Oh yes, I'd nearly forgotten about it. Afterward, he drove it back to that garage. It ran fine. That's right. So why didn't he use his beloved sports car, hmm? Panties! A glaring contradiction, to be sure. More glaring than your forehead. <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> That's right, Fraulein. I fucked your dad. <laughs> order, order. Well, Mr. Justice, why didn't Dr. Maractus use his car to carry the body? Oh, uh, um. Is that a groan of surrender I hear? Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the past two days. Everything I've learned? Mr. Justice, this contradiction casts doubt on your entire case. This is truly your last chance. The defense will explain to us what happened that night. The panties! I have an idea. It's all coming together! <laughs> that night, Dr. Maractus couldn't use his car! 
Ha! Now you're making even less sense than usual. Not according to my information, Miss Tiala. Put one and one together and the explanation is simple. If it's so simple, perhaps you can show us some evidence. Show us proof why the car wouldn't run that night. Panties! Magic panties! Then who hit Phoenix? So he hit Phoenix before, um, before he parked the car. And then the panty snatcher stuffed the panties in the, the tailpipe. Exhaust pipe. All sorts of things come out of my panties. <laughs> like my car! Uh, even the truth! Another crime was committed the night of the murder. The theft of these panties. The latest in a string of similar thefts, actually. But that night, the snatcher was caught in the act. <laughs> Look at her face! She's so funny. A brave young girl chased the thief until he hid. In the Maractus Clinic garage. But what? The snatcher hid the panties there before running. Perhaps she's pogging. <laughs> Perhaps someone in this court remembers where he hid them. Why weren't they found in the car's exhaust pipe? Exactly. By the way, I learned something yesterday. A very important piece of information. And I learned it from you, Prosecutor Gavin. Um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home when my hog just gave up the ghost. Your hog? <laughs> yeah, air forehead, my hog. Gave up the ghost. Your hog? Yeah, air forehead, my fat hog. <laughs> my motorcycle wouldn't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad, it looks like such a nice bike too. <laughs> Apollo, squeeze my hog. <laughs> I need to go back home and re-crank my hog. Afraid it's clogged up. <laughs> Will you come home with me, Apollo, and help me un un <laughs> unclog my hog? <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. <laughs> Bailiff, declog that man's hog. <laughs> My, how interesting. Well, Miss Tiala and the doctor were struggling. The panty snatcher snuck into the miraculous garage. From that time until the time we found these, the car wouldn't start. What? What? That's why Mr. Dr. Maractus had to use the noodle stand. It was the next closest thing he could think of. Well, Miss Tiala, this wraps up your doubts. Quite nicely, I think. So it does. Where, where am I? It's so dark, can't see. Cramped. The pain, my throat's burning. What? <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> You, Doc, I know what you did! Oh! Waki? You lied to me, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, man. Well, wait! Let me explain! Fine! I'll give you your last request. Listen, you're being tricked, but not how you think. It's not just me! No! You ruined everything! I have to stop him! <laughs> Cease this at once, you two! Bye.
funny. This isn't the way it was supposed to turn out. Oh well, too bad. There's still one mystery. There's more than one mystery! How did you manage to disappear from that stand? There's, how did the, the bullet, the bullet in the safe, how did the bullet end up in the safe? In the silence after the shot, I heard the witness running. I believe we heard as much from Wesley Stickler. He went to use a public phone to inform the police. Which is when I made my escape. Which is when you left that slipper print? Dr. Maractus didn't bother taking my slippers off. I threw them out after I stepped in that paint, though. That was your mistake. No, my biggest mistake was coming to you for help, Mr. Justice. Ooh, ice cold. Uh, I believed in you. You and your anything agency. If anyone would get Waki declared guilty, it was you. Oh my god. <laughs> I was certain you would throw this case. I believe we've reached a conclusion of sorts. Prosecutor Gavin, how is Miss Alita Tiala doing? She's confessed to everything. We're processing her arrest now. Prosecutor Gavin sure seems calm for someone who just lost. I think he already knew. He'd figured out she was the killer a while ago. Some advice. Now's a good time to review all you know. Everything you've learned over the past two days. He lost, but I didn't exactly win, either. Hmm? Something the matter, Air Forehead? Looks like it's time to announce a verdict. Didn't he win, though? No, 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 he was prosecuting Walkie. Dude, Walkie is an innocent man, but... Um... <laughs> He is walking out of this courtroom with fucking nothing, and he's about to die. Uh... He, his fiance set him up to fail, tried to get him accused of the crime. Walkie has a bullet in his fucking chest. Oh, man. Great job, Apollo! You did it! <laughs> yeah, we did. Somehow? You know what, chat? I bet that... Fuck, man. I don't know. Is this gonna be one of those things where that piece of evidence is gonna come up in another case? I guess we'll see. Hang on. <clears throat> Walkie's off the hook. Free to become the gangster he's always wanted to be. And he's you to think. Oh shit. You're gonna pay for what you did to my Alita, Holmes! Or to blame, I guess. You give my- you give my Alita back! Stupid pointy-headed attorney with a death wish! Enough! I don't know who that is. No, it's not Alita, it's his dad. <laughs> what if- what if he also- he, he had valley girl voice anyways? Ah, Mr. Kataki! It's high time you opened your eyes, Walkie. What do you know, old man? I think it's about time you open yours! Giving up the life trying to become some kind of businessman! Don't talk about what you don't understand, Walkie. I'm afraid the guard is going to throw them both out. If not in jail, wouldn't that be a happy ending? Hey, maybe we can help them out. We know why Mr. Kitaki needs to make so much money. Maybe we should tell Waki. Oh, Waki, Apollo has something to tell you. Huh? I do? Way to put me on the spot. Eh? What's that? 
show him the reason why, Apollo. Oh god, no! Oh, it fucking buries my face in my hand. Um. <laughs> Waki, I don't know how else to tell you this, but you're fucking dying. <laughs> you're, um, like you're dying. Waki, you're gonna fucking die. Take Think about it, Waki. Think about your condition. Your days are fucking numbered, bro. Like, you're, <laughs> like you could keel over at any second, bud. Champ. I talked with your mother, little plum, yesterday. They're gonna kill you. You're bitch too bad. <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. She doesn't mean... You won't really... Are you? Oh, look how cute he just got. I searched the globe, and I found one. A doctor who can take that bullet out of you, Walkie. But it's an expensive procedure. But, man, but you got plenty of money already, don't you? I won't use it. It was the gangster life that did this to you, Walkie. I want to help you, and I want to do it clean. Hatched like eggs. <laughs> that was the best twist of this case. No way. Please understand, Walkie. D Dad. M may I see how it is, old man? Always you looking out for. Out for. Walkie? Listen good, old man, one day, one day, I'm gonna take you out, then we'll see who's the OG. You try to hide in your business suit, I'll find you. Stupid old Jesus. My, my, Rocky. No, it's as it should be. Mr. Kataki, I liked him more without the poppy dog eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to have met you. I'm not so good with words. But I know a professional job when I see one. Thank you. Who, me? I don't think... Someday, I'll bake you one of our latest. The Kitaki Lime Pie. He's opening a pie shop? So long. And he was gone. Well, let's head back, Apollo. Case closed. <laughs> to the right anything agency. Hey, since when do I work at your agency? Aw, we make a good team. Don't just stand there, let's get going. Uh, why not? She did help me out. And there's a few questions that still need answers. Like this power of mine she showed me. And my bracelet. Anyone can help me figure it out. It's her. My power! My power of justice! I'm gonna... <laughs> I can't say I care much for what her father has become. Oh, that's right. We have to go someplace first. Huh? Where? Why, to claim a reward for Mr. Eldoon. Ah, salty noodles. Right. You got a stand back already? Oh, and after that, you can come see my show. With a special appearance by the amazing Mr. Hat. Oh, it's special, all right? Please, anything but him. But, but,
Oh shit, that we are in episode 3. Hmm. I d How d But the bullet though. <sighs> hey, thanks for the 5000 bits, Morty. A Mortyless Rick. That damn bullet. Hmm. You know, knowing this series, it's probably going to come back up later. Somehow. In some weird, obscure way. Uh, because the, the, this game usually doesn't leave loose ends. Or this series doesn't usually leave loose ends. Um, alright, uh, chat, I'm going to dip. <clears throat> Someone in chat said the bullet is from when the chick and the doctor had an altercation. Must have just missed it. Maractus opened the safe and then attacked and she fired. Oh, maybe, maybe. I, I must have just missed it then. Or I was reading it. I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah, I, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'm probably gonna take next Saturday off. Um, take a little break in between cases. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a, a nice rest of your night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably. Happy Miku Day. It is Miku Day. Yeah, it's 3-9. All right. Bye-bye. See you guys later. Have a good night. Oh, shit. Kisses the homies. Good night. Mwah. All right. Now have a good night.